Hi, I'm a Bulla student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about direct proofs and their relation to number theory. So, as we covered in previous videos, number theory is all about asking questions about math and using formal proofs to answer them. There are several different types of formal proofs, however, and the most basic type is the direct proof. Direct proofs are used when proving conditional statements, which are statements that are in the structure of if-then statements, or if P, then Q, if this happens, then this happens. And so in direct proofs, you assume that P is true, and then you prove that then Q must also be true. For example, if I have the statement, if Johnny likes apples, then Johnny eats fruit, I would go about proving this statement using direct proof by first saying, Johnny likes apples, this is true, and then showing how that leads to Johnny eating fruit being true also. So why does this work? Why can we prove statements using direct proof? Well, if we take a look at a truth table, we can look at all the possibilities that can come from a, from a conditional statement. So a truth table sets up all the possibilities um, for the different parts of the conditional statement, P and Q, and then says whether they are logically sound, and that's what this column shows. So, to begin with, we can ignore these last two columns, because we know that if we start with a false statement, if we start by saying, from our Johnny example, um, Johnny eats, or Johnny does not eat apples, when we know that he does, any conclusions that we come to won't actually pertain to our original statement. So if we're proving a mathematical statement, we're always going to start with a true P. Then our truth table shows us that if we start with a true P and we end with a true Q, then the statement is logically sound. That's what that T means there. It's logically sound. Whereas if we start with a true P and we end with a false Q, so if we started with Johnny eats apples um, and ended with Johnny does not eat fruit, that's false because apples are a fruit, we come to a logically or an illogical statement. So how does this show the benefits of direct proof? Well, direct proof is all about taking a true statement and finding a true statement. So taking a true P and ending with a true Q. And we see, based on our truth table, that that's the only way to come to a logical statement. If you start with a true statement and you find a true statement or lead to another true statement, you've proven your initial conditional statement, because this, in the end, is what you're trying to prove. So let's do an example. We're going to start with the conditional statement, if x is odd, then x squared is odd. And before we begin, let's just remind ourselves that an odd number is defined as any number that can be represented by 2 times a plus 1, where a is an integer. So, for example, 5, which is an odd number, equals 2 times 2, which is an integer, plus 1. That's our a. So, in our direct proof of this conditional statement, we're going to start with a true p. So, we're going to say, suppose x is odd. Then we know that x equals 2a plus 1, where a is an integer. This is the sign for integer, and this is the sign that a is, a, is an element of the integers, by definition of an odd number. From that, we must know that x squared equals 2a plus 1, which we've already said x equals, squared, which equals 4a squared 
plus 4a plus 1, and then if you factor out a 2, it equals 2 times 2a squared plus 2a, and all of that plus 1. Then we can say that x squared actually equals 2b plus 1, because all of this we can just represent as b, because it's an integer. 2a squared plus 2a is going to equal an integer um, by the closure property. Therefore, x squared must be odd by definition of an odd number. So we see that we proved this conditional statement directly because we started with a true, we assumed that the first part was true, and then we used mathematical logic to show that the second part is also true. This has been a Bulla Student Tutor video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and check out all our other great tutoring videos on our YouTube page. Thank you!